Now we are moving towards uh, so-called El Nino phase, which means that the Pacific temperatures are going to be warmer than uh, average. We have now uh, data from 18 uh, global centers which are making estimates uh, on, on climate for the coming, coming years, and uh, that's based on, on, on modeling. And, uh, and, 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 and the, these uh, centers all together show that there's a 66 percent uh, chance that we would uh, exceed 1.5 degrees uh, during the coming, coming uh, five years. And, uh, and there's 33 percent uh, probability that we would uh, see the whole coming five years uh, exceeding, exceeding that uh, threshold 1.5 degrees, which is, uh, of course, not very likely to happen. It's, it's practically sure that we will, we will uh, 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 see the warmest year on record during the coming five years uh, once, we are, uh, once this La Nina phase is uh, over. And, and this, this kind of variations, uh, they are combination of, uh, of this, this specific uh, surface temperature variations and the impacts of uh, climate change. And gradually, we are going to higher temperatures uh, because of uh, of, uh, of, the, of the emissions of uh, speci especially carbon dioxide, but also methane to the, to the atmosphere. And the most uh, dramatic uh, changes we expect to happen uh, see in the Arctic, where we have already seen more than double the global uh, warming taking place. And uh, during the coming five years, the estimation is that, uh, that the uh, Arctic temperatures would uh, be three times uh, the global Averages, so so we will see more dramatic uh, uh, impacts uh, there, and also uh, there's an estimation of what's going to happen to the rainfall amounts uh, during the coming coming five years, and uh, and 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 the, the the model results are showing that uh, there's a risk that we would see, for example, a drought in Amazonian region where we have uh, big storage of uh, carbon in the rainforest uh, ecosystems and. Uh, and, and that that would uh, boost the release of uh, of carbon dioxide from that uh, that area, which is uh, which is which is a negative uh, feedback uh, mechanism. Southern oscillation, which is uh, having impacts on on temperatures in the Pacific, and and this is uh, also driving very much the global temperature year to year variations. And uh, as I already said, the uh, last three years have been La Nina years with the cooling impact, and the last. Uh, strong El Nino year was uh, 2016 when we broke uh, last time the all-time high and um, as uh, I already said uh, there's very high likelihood that we will break this all-time high during the coming uh, coming five years again. <laughs>